Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Micah. We're doing part 15 of the DT250 restoration project. The gas tank has been sitting overnight with a coat of metal rescue gel on it. We're about to go take that first coat off and see how well it did at removing the rust. Also off camera, I took this can of citrus strip varnish and paint stripper um, and hit the back fender with it. If you'll recall, when I bought the back fender, it had a coat of black rattle can spray paint on it. Um, I'm trying to take that down to bare plastic. I was trying to find something that was going to be safe. So here's the rear fender after one coat. Um, it's looking pretty good. It did not soften the plastic. Everything appears to be great. I'm going to hit it with a second coat and just try to get the residual paint off. There's a little bit of paint left in some kind of nooks and crannies on the uh, fender. You'll see this is kind of all that's left of the black coat that came off. So it'll make that paint bubble up. You know, um, I think the instructions say check it after 30 minutes. I want to say after 30 minutes, it was already good to go. Um, just sprayed it and left it sitting outside. Um, scraped it right off with a paint stripper and then took a water hose to it and got most of it off. I did mask off um, the inside part of the fender that's going to be covered by the rear wheel. Not because I'm really concerned about saving the paint job, but I wanted to see how well um, the new paint was going to match up to the old paint. So we'll check that out. Um, the new paint that I'm using is Krylon Fusion Metallic Silver. Um, I read a review of somebody that had used this on the Yamaha forums. They do say that it sprays really, really wet and it's prone to runs, um, even though it says on the cans, no runs, no drips, no airs. Um, so they say the first couple of coats spray them really, really lightly. I mean, just kind of barely get any paint on there and then start building your coats as you go. Also, I'm gonna pull the stinger, the, the rear section of the tailpipe off the bike and go ahead and get that painted. Um, with some high temperature paint. I had done the rest of the muffler. Um, that's easy to remove by itself and I just kind of failed to get around to it. So I'll hit that with a couple of coats of primer and a couple of coats of paint. All right, so that's probably enough preamble. Let's jump into the work. Okay, so we're about 17 hours into the rust removal process. It's just been sitting here overnight. Um, you can see some like pools of kind of congealed rust uh, on the thing. So I'm hoping that most of this comes off. You can kind of see it's turned into like a yellowish uh, green. From sitting here let me take a look at the label and see what they say to do all right so it says rinse wipe off gel completely results in bare metal if stubborn rust remains repeat the process if needed protect with dry coat rust preventative so um, let me go rinse this thing off So uh, first coat's off. I'm gonna say it's kind of mixed results. So the areas like here where it took the rust off, you can see um, it did go all the way down to the metal, did not hurt the paint one bit as far as I can tell, but then there's still these areas where you've got like surface rust left over on it. Um, kind of the same thing inside of the tank. So there's areas where the rust was like completely obliterated. Again, didn't hurt the paint. And then we got areas right next to it where I applied, you know, a pretty generous amount and um, I can't even tell that it was on there. So, you know, it did say that the uh, stubborn areas may require more than one coat. I really wasn't that concerned about the bottom of the tank anyway. I'm gonna clear coat it to keep it from getting any worse. Um, but really all I wanted to test was make sure that it wasn't gonna hurt the paint. The, the part that I'm really concerned about is doing the top. So we're gonna go ahead and get that started now.
Okay, so while I'm in between coats of paint, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this two-part epoxy um, to these broken places on my rear fender. You can see I've kind of got this Rube Goldberg machine of coat hangers and bungee ties being held down with a weight um, to get it so that it lines up as close as it can, but still leaves just a little bitty gap for me to squeeze some epoxy into. Um, if we take a look at the other side of the bike, so you can see I did the same thing earlier. Obviously it needs to be sanded down inside the hole, but overall um, it's made it up pretty clean. So I'll sand down the backside. Um, this needs to cure for about 24, maybe 48 hours for it to be hard. Um, and then if it if it shows uh, excessive flex, I'll go back and put another coat on top of it um, after I sand it down and then repeat the process a couple of times. So let me go mix up some epoxy and we'll get this done. Okay, so at the end of the day, I've got the tank right here. Um, after the first coat of Metal Rescue on the top side of the paint, kind of like the underside, um, when it works, it works really well. So it takes it down to the, just the bare metal. Um, I don't see any evidence that the paint's been chipped at all. Um, but then you can see there's just, you know, a lot of areas where it looks like nothing's been done. Um, it is, you know, super smooth, feels clean. Um, and it, it hasn't hurt the paint at all, but I'm not not overly impressed with the results so far. It's certainly not a kind of a magic solution. Um, but again, I'm, I might have been trying to do too large of a section, so I'm going to try to do maybe some small sections and mask those off and keep those wet and then just see how it looks. So uh, front fender has got uh, four and a half, maybe five coats of, of color on it now. It looks pretty good. If we compare the front fender color to the uh, rear fender original section, it's close enough for me. Um, it's not a 100% match, but it looks pretty good. From 10 yards away, I think it's gonna be fine. Um, honestly, even if you take the rear fender section and compare it, its original paint, to the original paint on the tank, um, they're not 100% because they're dissimilar surfaces and, and things like that. But, um, you know, for the five or six bucks that I paid for that rattle cam, um, I think it looks pretty good. This needs to get clear put on top of it. Um, it probably wouldn't hurt to, to wet sand this with like some 3000 grit just super lightly to get the orange peel off. I'm not gonna get that twisted up about it though, because honestly, this bike's gonna end up going through the woods. Um, I'm gonna put a bunch of clear on it, try to maintain it, but it, it, you know, honestly, this thing's gonna end up getting scuffed up and probably repainted in the future. So, um, good enough for today is gonna be our motto. Uh, rear fender, after the second treatment of citrus strip, um, it's looking pretty good. I'm not gonna get twisted up about trying to get all this paint off because leftover paint is just kind of a good primer base. I am gonna hit it just a little bit and make sure it's smoothed out. So areas where I hit the epoxy have dried, they just need to cure. Um, I think with just a little bit of sanding um, on the epoxy and then once it gets primed and painted um, and cleared, it, it's gonna look just fine. Um, the fender was, was like 20 bucks. I was super happy just to find one period. Um, they're not incredibly rare, but you know, if you go look at eBay, you won't find more than two or three or four listed at a time. So, um, although I think I did nearly paid as much to get it shipped to me as I did for the Fender, um, getting it for 20 bucks was great. I'm very happy to have it. Uh, all right, so from here, um, we're just gonna march forward. I'm happy to have a project to kind of keep me busy during the quarantine, although I should probably be spending my time working on stuff inside the house or, or doing something productive, reading a book, but um, Still having a blast working on it. Looking forward to kind of just getting this thing knocked out. Um, I feel like we're on the home stretch. But until next time, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you have a great week. Bye.